Oh, it's been a while. Hello, my singular viewer. No, no problem. No problem. We're good. Uh, it's nice to see the mic's working. Great. Sorry for the terrible, terrible voice right now. Feeling kind of sick, and also my family's trying to sleep. <laughs> and also, uh, my mic got busted. So that sucks. <laughs> uh, have any questions? Just type them out in the chat. As I try to get the sequel demo all popped up or whatever. <laughs> Top demo. Here we go. Question Can y'all see the game? Yep, you should be able to see it now, guys. So, this is way too loud. So, the sequel is officially, well, not officially here. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this music keep playing for now. So, last month, the Kickstarter for the sequel went live. And within a couple of hours, it got successfully funded. And a month later, it went like 500,000 euros past its goal. So, we're just giving a. Yeah, they gave us a link to the demo in, uh, in the Kickstarter itself. So, I'm going to be looking at it for all of y'all. So. Who's this gray, faithless guy who needs to put on pants? Well, if you can't tell by his hat... There, there you go, he said it himself. <laughs> so I'm guessing you didn't just come here just because you missed me. As a matter of fact, I didn't. You want to see a bit of Master Prom sequel? Indeed we do. Indeed we do. We're working tirelessly on that shite, and oh boy, it's looking good. We have so many ideas. Some days it seems we're thinking too big, while other days we believe we could go even bigger. So we started on a Kickstarter campaign, because that's how we'll give you, the players, the ability to tell us how big should this thing be? My kitty! My cat's just... sneezed. Bless you! Also, this way we have more control over our own product by getting our own funds not only for the development, but also stuff like marketing and console porting. Which sounds nice. And there are fuck ton of Kickstarter rewards that will blow your minds. We've implemented some of that into this demo to let your imagination fly. Oh goody. For that reason, I brought a little friend to help me present all of this. Oh no. This is Billy, the backer. Oh dear. <laughs> This little fucker is a representation of our lovely, awesome phantom. Aw, we love you two devs. Okay, maybe a bit more exaggerated and absurd for comedic purposes. Whoa, it's the narrator! Please step on me! 
I don't know why I gave Billy an Elmo voice, but I guess we're going with Elmo. Well, but too real, huh? Shut up and take all my money! Whoa, whoa, calm down, Billy. We're in super take into taking all your money, if that's what you wish. We're nice that way. <laughs> But what if we play this demo first and check out all the things you can get by giving us all your money? I love Damien! Oh, of course you love him, Billy. Of course you do. I mean, he is the most popular uh, character in the entire game. So it's might as well say that you love Damien. Anyway, here we go. It just looks like they placed the Monster Prom logo, took the Monster Prom logo and placed camp on top of it, <laughs> which isn't too bad. I think it just adds to the charm. So, I played through this before, so I think I know what everything represents. So, the woods is the equivalent of the classroom, which is smart, lake, outdoors or fun, camp dome equates to the gym. Charm. Scout HQ. Like akin to the auditorium where you get creativity. Manor akin to the stalls of the, in the original game where you gain boldness. So, I'm gonna let you guys decide. Where shall we go first? I mean, I see three of you watching. Do you want to um, text in the chat where you want me to go? What you want to look at? I mean, we only got to do uh, four places out of the five. <laughs> For once, I can see the chat and the stream at the same time and not worry about lag or anything. <laughs> or cutting out. Which is great. <laughs> So where to? Just patiently waiting.
I can I can wait all day. I can wait all night. <laughs> this <sighs> I, I guess you guys don't want to pick where I want to go okay that's cool um I'm I'm gonna choose where to go then Okay, my creativity is low, so I'm going to go there to get plus two creativity. Vicky is, at least. Is she carving a, a wooden statue of one of the characters from... From dra... <laughs> that one dragon fan fiction that's also a... Never mind. <laughs> You spend the day learning new skills with the Monster Scouts in order to earn badges. You earn a badge for avoiding getting lost by properly locating the North Star in the night sky or just by texting her and asking for, for directions. <laughs> you earn a badge for writing poems in iambic pentameter. I have been iambic on that ass, you bastard. You earn a badge for building an AK-47 using only sticks and... And leaves. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Completing all those unexpected and probably useless lessons earned you plus two creativity. But after that, you get distracted by the sound of a tail intensely wagging. Catch the bumper! Whoa, Boo! What a shiny badge you got there! I am trying way too hard to imitate Nessa Scott voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, dude. I love the Scouts badges. They're like little reminders. You've been a good boy. Aww. He, He's a, he is a good boy. It should be hard for me to get them since they require stuff that's super complex. So for now, I'm happy with the one I got. It's for literally being a good boy. And you've earned that. Hi, Dahlia. I want all the badges. Look, Scott, I got this one for successfully invading spider Realm, and this one for getting a war prisoner to talk by any means possible. These are just some intense badges. Whoa. I didn't know the monster cows gave badges for those things. They don't. I made half of my badges myself. That makes sense. Do you think so I get enough badges? They'll give me the eighth circle of hell in exchange. Ooh, so, with so many badges, I'm sure they'll give it to you, Dahlia. It shows that you're very good at doing so many things. Including forgery. Especially in being the spider realm. You have like six of those. Thank you, Scotty boy. That's why I once I once I run bleh. Once I reign supreme, you'll be my buff commander. Yes, please. Ray, I always wanted to be a wolf commander. <laughs> you are a wolf commander, boy. He got that covered. 
See, Billy. Look at how many adventures the Monster Scouts might entail. All those wacky badges to get alongside your friends by doing the most absurd stuff. Yeah, they look silly, super silly in those outfits. Screw you, they look badass. Oh, silly indeed. No, badass. Master Prom Sequel will come up with lots of new outfits to portray all the different setups we're creating. And that's not all. There are three ways outfits play a role in our Kickstarter. Which is over now. <laughs> we have a reward that ensures two DLCs with many outfits. One will be for sale later, which will contain the bulk of the outfit. It'll have all the seasonal update ones, plus many new ones. The second DLC won't ever be for sale, and it will include a few Kickstarter exclusive outfits. A higher reward tier gets you access to a private Discord channel to propose and discuss new outfits for the game. And an even higher one lets you co-create your own outfit with Monster Prom creators. How enticing. Imagine that. Uh, no, really, imagine it. If you were told to create your own outfit, which criteria would you follow? Oh, dear. <laughs> so, the fact that we are an incorrigible fan, or just a bunch of thirsty bastards. <laughs> so, which one are we going for, guys? Are we thirsty bastards or incorrigible fans? Which one am I going with? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Just doing some more advertising. Sharing this around to get more people to see.
Jordan Lego Comics. Hey! I'm doing the Monster Prom sequel, as you can't already tell. <laughs> so, basically, it's advertised in the game's sequel. Alright, Jordan, pick, pick which option I'm gonna do. For context, it's, cost, it's about costumes. What should I go with? Go with a costume that shows that I'm such an incorrigible fan, or that I'm a thirsty little bitch. <laughs> or something like that. Go on, take your time. Twitch app has audio only, so I can listen. Okay, funny bunny. Hello. That I'm such an incorrigible fan, huh? Okay, so incorrigible fan it is. creative. I want to have a space in the phantoms I love. Yes, please. Uh, um, okay. Well, this doesn't look familiar at all. <laughs> what? What is this? Why am I covered in blood and why is it fuchsia? Yay! So anime! No, Billy. Stop. Bad, Billy. Bad. We should discuss this stuff before going ahead. Parody outfits are totally an option, but we need to review them. Just to be sure it makes some sense, it is within a logical reason, and it doesn't cross the fine line between parody or tribute and just getting sued. Thank you, Ms. Anthropony, for that response to Sailor C. Sailor Moon review. I'm not Ms. Anthropony, but. <laughs> Where is that fine line we say for reference Garfield in a hundred different ways? Billy! Okay, let's end this event for now, goddammit. Okay. <laughs> I wish I had the band with the look at the visuals. Sounds interesting. Thank you! So, I just went to Scout HQ, so I can go to either the woods, the lake, the camp dome, or the manor. Where should our green buddy go? Where should our zomboy head off to? It's not going to be available until next year, but yeah, it sounds interesting. This is the demo we're given. <laughs> Can't go here. That's the campfire. We're not able to go there until nighttime. Even though it's 10.30 at night at my end. Just dancing and messy. <laughs> hmm. Although by the looks of it, I think smart and funny and a boost. Where to? Where to, guys?
Oh, baby. A baby stretching. Stretched into a sploot. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> well, all right. One of these four locations. Tell me where you want me to go. The lake. Okay. Uh, um. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. That. Yeah. His head is gone. <laughs> you spend the day playing in the lake. Brian, you, your head needs to get reattached, my dude. Everything is fine until you're mesmerized by a strange song. It's the sirens. Oh no, the dazzlings have made it the monster prom. <laughs> oops, oops is right. They try to lure you with their beautiful chants, but you know better and challenge them to a riff off. Oh no, it's the plot of Rainbow Rocks all over again. <laughs> they kick your butt, but you all definitely have a lot of fun. More specifically, plus two fun. <laughs> Later, you're chilling in the lake when someone emerges from the water. Hey, Green, what you doing? Hi, Scott, and wow. Wow, that is, that is a lovely, that is a lovely chest. The simple question is made very funny by the fact that he's doggy paddling towards you in a very silly way. I think it's adorable. What? Scott is swimsuit? Can this get any better? Hey, people. Hear me out. Whew. Hello, Dahlia. Awkward erection noise. I wasn't going to use my Billy voice for that one. We need to head to shore. I got into a small argument with the lake creatures underwater and I got bit too invested in said argument. Turns out beheading one of their people is considered not cool. And so you all sent to the shore. I hate narrating while I'm on screen. You never get used to it. This sounds like a whole like one of those new ground dating sims. <laughs> It is a dating sim, but it's not a new ground it's dating sim. It's a kickstarted dating sim. <laughs> but actually, pretend. <laughs> sure, Dad. Ah, uh, What's wrong, Billy? You got exhausted at the zooming just a bit? You really need to get into shape, kiddo. Intense dating sim sessions doesn't count as a workout. What? No, it's nothing to do with swimming, dude. I'm exhausted after too much fan service. It's only the second event. Do you think putting our characters in swimming gear is fan service? Nah, that's just a contextual necessity. But if you want some fan service... You're about to sell me on another kickstart reward, aren't you? Shut up, Billy. I'm not telling you about just any Kickstarter reward. I'm telling you about THE Kickstarter reward. It's the highest one. Co-creating a minor NPC. I'm not saying that because parents are asleep. It can be your own OC, a Matasona of yourself, whatever you want, asterisk. 
within logistical reasons, within logistical reasons, within logistical reasons, within logistical reasons, it will be processed done by working with the very game creators. I think I got it. Did I get it, Kitty? Did I get it? The cat's looking away. That is a no. Well, let's start now. If you got to create a character, what motto would you get your inspiration from? Okay, guys. What's going to be the inspiration for creating our monster from OC? Please step on me, or I love Damien. <laughs> Again, please step on me. I love Damien. <laughs> I don't like the first one. <laughs> well, I've seen... You sure you want to go with the second one? <laughs> okay. Let's, let's go with... Let's go base our OC off of Damien, love a. Hmm, I mean... I like Damien. Have you ever played Dandelion or Rose Heron? No, I have not. Yes, I know, Billy. I am well aware. No, but I mean, I really, really like him. Of course, but you see, Damien's already in the game. You can't create him. That would be plagiarism. What are you going to do? Create a second Damien? Not enough. I want more Damien. Like, um, like, um. Oh dear. Uh, um, what is that? What the hell is that? <laughs> I have not seen this outcome before, guys. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I'm gonna wait until you guys see it. <laughs> ah, what is that? I imagine an army. Well, uh, it's it's kinda, kinda an army. Just an army just made into one mass of people. <laughs> anyway. Fuck oh, yeah! What have you done, Billy? I don't know, I just made some kind of Damien. Made a Damien. <laughs> As in not wrapped in the one body. Exactly! Billy. This is exactly the reason why the process includes working alongside the game's creators. We leave all the control to you. It gets out of hand pretty quickly. What? Why? I see nothing wrong with this. Show of hands, who sees something wrong with this outside of me? I mean, Damien's cool. He's not my favorite character. Yup, your vampas bando. Liam. Any hoodles? Right, Damien? Yeah, exactly. See? Damien agrees with me, so it's two versus one. No, it's two versus three. Narrator, me, and Jordan in the chat. Oh, I think in this moment, Funny Bunny, I it's preferable that you don't see. Or like eight versus one? No, Billy, no. <laughs> Oh, Billy, what are we going to do with you? Next time, remember, you have to wait until our review before going ahead and creating something like this. Can I keep Malty Damien, though? Only if you promise you feed him. Good luck with that. Hehe, <laughs> classic Damien. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Jordan. No! Let's go, Billy. I've had enough of Damien for today. I agree. Alright, so, Woods, Camp Dome, 
or the manor. Just uh, took in some water and chloroseptic. Throat spray. <coughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Where to now? I'm worried she might cause a fire. She goes into the woods. <laughs> so the camp dome. Let's go into the camp dome then. That day, you joined the merciless trials of the camp dome. Well, it's a good thing she didn't go to the lake either. I think the lake would have put her out. Your team is faced with a potato sack race. It seems easy, but this is the camp dome, and so the potato sacks are filled with swarms of bees. Okay. Your teammates are discouraged both because they are not fond of bees, and because the enemy team is mostly comprised of sentient bees. Aren't are all be sentient anyway? Sapiens. Sapiens is the proper term. Giving them a clear advantage over you. It all looks dire, but you use your cunning and remind the enemy team that the bee population of Rhythm is inexplicably decreasing. These are heading towards unavoidable extinction. This fact really messes with the enemy team's head, giving you the edge you need to win. Your nasty leadership skills grant you 2 plus 2 charm. Uh, oh, okay. <coughs> I would make a joke here, but it's probably not going to be in good taste, so I'm not going to make it. Surprisingly, you survived the whole thing. Especially considering we just saw a dead body. What are you doing, Red? Surviving? Um, yes? <sighs> surviving is not enough. Winning is not enough. We must obliterate this game. We must conquer it. Oh, Dahlia, that's admirable. It's like when you decide giving your 100% is not enough, and then you give your 120%. No, Scott, we are talking 1,000%. Or, or, or over 9,000. Yeah, she said it for me. Wow. And that's exactly what our Womp Work Kickstarter campaign to give our 1,000%. <laughs> Yay. Speaking of, I'm going to check the Kickstarter page and see what the original goal was. Because I know... The goal was over. I know the final stretch, the final amount pledged was over 530 euros. So. Where was it? Out of... Okay. Well, the original goal was 32,300... No, 32,231 euros. And they picked that number because that was the amount the original game got for the like, kickstart. Times 1,000... Okay, not exactly your 1,000%, but it's a good. But still, beat your goal by 500,000 euros. That's amazing. Let me enjoy a sequel without interrupting with a Kickstarter stuff, please! But listen, Billy, if we get way beyond the main goal of the campaign, we will unlock tons of delicious stretch goals. 
from more love interest to romance to unexpected cool things like figurines like a damia figurine holding a chicken or a dahlia figurine holding a, an alligator yes those are going to be actual things now and one of our most ambitious goals, creating a new adventure other than the camp, the retreat, and the road trip. Just look up Master Prom Sequel on YouTube, you'll, you'll find a trailer for that. And they talk in depth about those things. It's more Monster Prom! We have some ideas on what those new adventures could be, but we'd love to know. No, our fan does opinions so what they would love to get. There was a fourth, or maybe more, adventure to be included. So, what do you guys want to see? Another holiday adventure, but something that's completely different? Also, I want there to be a way to include any character that might have been left out of the other three adventures. Or, that thing every fan is asking for. That thing. And by the way, the thing that everybody was asking for is date to PCs, which I am all for, by the way. Red Kitty, what do you want? You just want to go to sleep? Want to go to sleep, Babu? Yeah, go, go sleep with your, go sleep with your little doll thing. Go sleep with your doll. Oh, I love this cat. Alright, guys. What do you want? Have you ever played the PCP dating sim? No. I have bad feeling about both of these. No, don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Both of these are good. <laughs> For nothing like that Damien amalgamation we got earlier. Alright, so top or bottom, guys? Gotta go have fun. Bye, funny bunny! Oh, my back. Where to, guys? Where shall I go? Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Holiday adventure it is. A new holiday adventure? Okay, so you have summer camp, winter retreat, and road trip, right? But we thought, what about a trip to Japan? I love it, I'm already! Me too, Billy, me too. What else? We don't have much more than that at this point in terms of design. It would be cool to not only... Japan as a setup, but also thematically. We do lots of parodies, so we can focus on making a whole plot of lines and characters. There will be anime parodies, for instance. Keep talking, narrator, keep talking. Hey, it's Zoe! <laughs> and it's Lamp of Spondo, yay! Yeah, they were left out of the other three help take games. Anyway, we want to go to Japan! 
yeah, such an arsehole move to not include this anywhere else. I agree, Liam. Wholeheartedly. So the least you could do is give us a cool trip to Japan, no? And be sure to include one fabulous magical girl and one very buff shaman dude, okay? We also demand for one set of outfits to be very tasteful kimonos. Yes, please! Well, I'd love to visit Japan. I'm sure I could score some sweet dates. I heard they're big on tentacles there. Giggity. Zuri, just... No. Yeah, why'd you keep the purple guy... The purple... The purple love interest out, huh? Oh, yes, please. Let's go to Japan with Liam and Zoe. Well, good news. We've reached that stretch goal, and we're going to Japan with Liam and Zoe. Well, Billy, that'll be up to the backers. And they said yes. Making that much more content is not an easy feat. That is true. We need to make sure there's enough demand for more Monster Prom, potentially no content around of it. Which there is. So only time will tell. And time is sold, yes. Alright, so woods or manor. I personally want to avoid going to the manor because um it features some creepypasta stuff. Yeah, they want to include creepypasta monsters into the game. Well that's an idea at least. <laughs> but it's up to you guys. Sarah's looking at her stuff. To the woods it is. <laughs> oh, it looks so cute. Anyway, that day you get lost in the woods. We know. You decide to study the trees, bark, and moss patterns to solve the situation. By reading one tree's bark, you realize which direction north is. By reading another, you learn the exact age of the tree. I'm pretty sure those that's the rings of the tree, but okay. By reading yet another tree's bark, you learn the tree likes Irish poetry and the least Buffy and Spike were the ultimate ship on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> okay. These are very talkative trees. So much useless knowledge. You gain plus two smarts. While wandering in the woods, you find Dahlia and Scott having a very serious discussion. <laughs> Hi, Dahlia. Look, Scott, I found these mushrooms. Do you think they are edible? Well, no. I found this tree. Do you think the wood will be edible? Actually, bark is edible. 
and it, it can taste pretty good if you know if you prepare it right Ah, oh, Scott asking the real questions no one else dares to ask but Scott isn't listening anymore he's chewing a piece of the tree bark hi Kathy Lester hello friend Dahlia and friend Scott I got a swim suit! Horrible scackles on his head, that is adorable! Hey there, killing machine body! Why are you wearing a swimsuit in the woods? My research on summer camp revealed that swimming is a very common activity here. Let's swim! One, we kinda need to go to the lake for that, and two, I don't think robots can swim in water. What do you guys think? But... <laughs> not a good idea for robots, yeah. But you do realize there's no water nearby to swim in, right? Oh no, you caught me. The truth is, I do not know how to summer camp. I do not deserve to be here. Oh, Or Pablo! Wait, 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 so Cagliars is one of the love interests? I mean, I assume Gott and Dahlia were, but are they? Ah, the mystery. Let me take this opportunity to tell you more about the wonders of the Sequels Kickstarter campaign. So once you reach a certain reward tier, you get the access to the voting polls. Every now and then, we will release a very important poll to decide on content for the game. Yes, please. This will be one of the first and most important ones. We want our backers to help us decide who some of the love interests in Monster Camp should be. It was up to you. Which criteria would you follow to choose one? One of the most popular characters to my favorite and I can't get enough of them. Or... A minor, more obscure, non-playable character. It's time for them to shine. I'd love to know more about them. So, go with the popular characters, or go with the NPCs. The brass are encountered an error while decoding this video because, of course, it freaking did. <laughs> You want me to decide? Okay. Let's go with... Let's go with... Let's go with this one. I can choose to get to be a love interest for this game. I want my favorite character to be in it. You'd never guess who it is. It's... Don't say it. Whew. Wow, Damien, you look much better. <laughs> you look much better, dude. Oh, lord. I love summer camp. That's everything I like. High probability of forest fires, tons of summer romance, and big challenges since summer is the realm of one of my biggest adversaries. The sun! Yes, there was an event last summer all about Damien punching the sun in the face. It's everywhere, and I think you could use some more punching. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You're angry and hot. narrator and face it if you add Damien to the polls the people will talk it's just sheer statistics my faceless friend 
No one gave you permission to get you over familiar with me, Billy. No more woods event for you. Aw. Just put on sunblock, Damien. <laughs> oh, if only it were that simple. If only it were that simple. Now off to the night. So where to sit? With Scott and Dahlia? With Joy of the Coven and Damien? Or with this Mothman over here? Hmm, where to sit? Although, doesn't really matter. It's all gonna end the same anyway. Whoa, 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 stop there. What? I want to chill around the campfire, Narrator. Billy, we built this demo in like a month. We're industrious, but we're not wizards. Well, listen, the campfire today should be pretty interesting. Introducing three new mechanics. Telling stories around the campfire. Spreading rumors about the other players. Smooching with other players. Hmm. Wah! I'm making him drool. And that's not all. Monster Camp won't have a shop, but instead there will be a bar. Hey, look, it's Juan, the small magical Latino cat. He's a cat. Players will battle to drink wacky mixed drinks that will have all kinds of consequences. Oh dear. None of these drinks look appealing, except maybe the one on the top right. And that's only Monster Camp. The sequel is three games in one. You also have Monster Retreat. A narrative adventure which you will need to prepare not for prob, but for the ultimate snowball fight. You will choose a side between Team Vera and Team Miranda. And then you'll have to face events in order to... 1. Help one of the sides. 2. Recruit allies for the battle. 3. Learn techniques. I don't know what any of these techniques could be. All leading up to the snowball fight, which will introduce a kick-ass strategy mini-game finale. Hooray. And finally, there's Monster Road Trip. Will you will join Polly and Scott in an absurd journey on the road. Why am I sounding like this? This one will probably include survival mechanics. But we can assure you that there will be all kinds of unexpected stops. And even more unexpected hitchhikers. That is one awesome costume for the Slayer. And, um, interdimensional prince? The hell are you wearing? <laughs> Ooh, it sounds fun! It will be. <laughs> yeah, he actually says kicky sounds. Anyway, <clears throat> so come and join our Kickstarter campaign, which is over by now and raised over 535,000 euros. We have all kinds of awesome rewards. Beta access to the Master Pro to the first Master Prom Games Mall Tool. Interesting. Physical Polaroids from exclusive to brand new. A body pillow. Access to exclusive Discord channel to propose and discuss content for the sequel. Custom content for you. Avatars, monster sonas, mod visual packs, and even physical Polaroids. And even the opportunity to co-create content for the sequel with the game devs. And if we get enough money, we're preparing an even 
Amazing stretch goals. F figurines. Which we got? More love interest from Monster Camp. Which we got? Kick-ass credit sequences. Which we got? Even new adventures for the game. Which we got, guys. Wow! Mary, are you sure this shamelessly selling Monster Prom? You betcha, Billy. No, but really, even if you can't or don't want to support the Kickstarter campaign, we love you. We have one of the greatest, most loyal, and most wonderful fandoms ever. Aww, we love you too. We're forever grateful and hope you're excited about the sequel. Bye. And that's it. The game just closes on its own. <laughs> so, so yeah. That was the Kickstarter campaign. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. I was planning on showing off the new uh, update. That was up. That was give added to the game earlier today. But um it's late. So um Yeah, let's all head to bed. It's a quarter past 11. <laughs> Good night, everybody.